Hey everybody, this is D Hunter, bringing another action figure collection video. This is going to be episode 23 of D Hunter's complete unopened Batman related action figure collection. This is going to be the first of several episodes to cover my DC Direct and DC Collectibles figures. Really been looking forward to this. Can't wait to get through all my DC Direct figures. There are some really nice ones out there. Rest in peace, DC Direct. Wish you were still around. In this video, we'll look at some figures, some Silver Age box set figures, Batman Hush figures, the Dark Knight Returns figures, some Justice figures, JLA Classified, Identity Crisis, Infinity Crisis, Unmasked figures, Elseworlds figures, First Appearance figures, and Crime Syndicate. We'll start off with the bigger things. We'll start off with Batman Hush. But before we do that, let's see how we got to this point. Before we dig into this video, let's take a quick look at my overall action figure collection. Here's when I had everything laid out in the house. So I think I've finally done it. I've unpacked all of the figures. As you can see here, we have the Diamond Select Toys Gotham Collection. Here's a bunch of my Mezco unopened figures. Some more Mattel stuff. Here's the Legends of the Dark Knight line. This is the Batman Power Attack line. Sort of Batman Unlimited. All my Justice League, Justice League Unlimited stuff. This is the entire DC Direct and DC Collectibles Arkham Collection. Mattel's 1966 line. DC Superhero Girls. All the different NECA Batman figures some Target exclusive line all the amazing Yamaguchi figures back there some Spin Master stuff the Mattel Batman Missions line of course in the very back it's my entire comic collection with all the recent McFarlane releases in front and above that got a bunch of DC Direct and Mattel figures in the last several years moving on Pretty much the entire Mattel's The Batman line. Back here in the back, got my SH Figure Arts Batman figures. This side, we've got all the different Mattel. Dark Knight, Dark Knight Rises, Batman Begins figures. Massive amount of piles. Back here we've got the DC Collectibles Batman the Animated Series figures, and a lot of them are on top as well. Can't wait to get to that video. That one and the Arkham Collection and DC Universe Classics. Some videos I'm really excited to do. Here are the Mattel figures. I can see the Batman Legacy, Batman Unlimited. It goes all the way from the original Batman line. Here's the Batmobile. And it's going to go all the way to DC Superheroes. DC Universe Classics, and Multiverse. A ton of figures. Great era with Mattel. Fun stuff, but I do like what McFarlane's doing. But I do miss these days, that's for sure. Going back to Kenner and Hasbro. Ton of Batman Beyond. Batman the Animated Series stuff. I mean, that just seemed endless to go through. My word. Look at these piles of unopened figures. That may made series continues all the way back here. Absolute ton of stuff just stacked up. On top of this table here, got all the Mafex figures and a bunch of one-offs. Some Hasbro, some McFarlane, or Mattel rather, anniversary figures. Amazing Amaguchi, Kia Asima, all kind of different import type stuff. Then we've got JLA and Total Justice figures. And then on to all the rest of the DC Direct stuff. Bunch of DC Direct Batman related figures. Some more chill in the back here. And I filled up all these shelves temporarily. Just storing all these DC Direct and DC Collectibles figures. And it's almost done. Here's the Mattel Batman Brave and the Bold line. I did not realize how extensive that got. And a ton more Brave and the Bold down here. Moving on again. 
some old Toy Biz, Super Friends, and DC Superhero figures, leading into the Dark Knight collection. Then we'll go to the Batman Returns figures. And then, of course, Batman Forever, Batman and Robin. It's a bunch of different Bat Caves. And some more animated stuff in the back there. So here's my unopened collection of DC Direct Batman Hush action figures. It is most certainly not complete. In fact, it's not even halfway complete. I do have the entire collection open. I jumped into collecting Batman figures after the Hush line was already out, so I had to go back and get some of them. Batman Hush is a great modern comic story. These figures were fantastic, just regular looking comic interpretations of the villains. Their articulation is pretty rough compared to today's standards, but I have a lot of love for this line. It gave us an Alfred, a Commissioner Gordon, I mean, not many of those figures got released, and they are essential to the Batman lore. In this video, we'll take a look at each of the waves, each figure that I have, both unopen and open, and then there are some later multi-packs re-released. So let's start off with Series 1. So this is the only figure I have from Series 1 that's unopened. This is Hush himself. The other figures from Series 1 would be the standard Batman, Huntress, the Joker, and Poison Ivy. Let's check out the packaging. Batman, logo just like from the comics of that era. Window box packaging, you see the figure. Got plastic here. Plastic kind of caving a little bit on this guy. Brand new Batman villain in action figure form. That is what I'm about, and he looks just more or less in his normal comic look. Thank you. He had these pre post guns in his hands. Absolutely horrible. Articulation's rough too, but the gun thing really sucks. I'd rather have not even have guns if that was the case. Give us at least swappable hands. Hush. DC Direct collector action figure one side you can see the entire wave they look fantastic together other side simply hush and the back here's wave one and an example of the comic and of course I had to get one of these guys open brand new Batman villain never released before that's the kind of stuff I'm into and here's the entire Wave 1 of Batman Hush loose. And this Wave 1 Batman had a couple of paint variations over the years. And here's the only figure I have from Wave 2 on open. Here's the Riddler. He is in his classic comic look, which I appreciate. The other figures in Series 2 are Catwoman, Harley Quinn, Nightwing, and a Superman. Like I said, I like that Riddler is in his traditional green tuxedo. He's got the hat. It all looks really nice. I really hate how he's pre-posed with his finger up, kind of hushing you. I mean, it looks good, it's appropriate, but I would really prefer a little bit more articulation. Still a very nice figure. This is my default Riddler for a while. Batman, Hush, the Riddler, DC Direct, the entire Series 2. Riddler, the back, package a little bit beat up here. Here's just Riddler, both open and unopen. And here's all the Series 2 loose. A regular looking Riddler and Nightwing. Harley Quinn was pre-posed and had that giant gun in her hand, annoying. Superman is taken over by Poison Ivy, so he's not really a regular Superman. And then I ended up using my Countman's goggles for a custom Roxy rocket a long time ago. Regret doing that. Here are the figures I have from Series 3. We have Commissioner Gordon, Alfred, Stealth Jumper Batman, and Ra's al Ghul. I'm missing a Scarecrow from this wave. This was an absolutely fantastic wave. I don't know what other people want, but I want figures like this. Stealth Jumper Batman, eh, I didn't really care about that at all. But Commissioner Gordon and Alfred, my god, thank you so much. This was the only Alfred I figure I had for so many years. Got a ton of use out of him. Batman needs his Alfred and needs his Commissioner. This was also the best Commissioner Gordon at the time. There's also one from Dark Victory, but 
he looked more like a GCPD SWAT officer. So happy to finally get some civilian supporting Batman characters. Rachel Gould was good, but I really preferred one with a shirt on. And boy, I went through a couple of those Rachel Gould figures, and the sword broke every time. These figures were very fragile, a lot of breakage. The Batman logo, Hush, Commissioner Gordon, DC Direct. Here's the entirety of Series 3. Gordon. The rest of Series 3, Hush Comics. Alfred here, no traditional accessories. Gordon at least had a pair of glasses in there. Gordon had that pre-posed gun, and I must say that is just so annoying. Alfred's fantastic. Tall, lanky Alfred. Looks just regular and standard, iconic. Hush, Alfred, DC Direct, Series 3. Alfred, cannot stress to you how much I appreciated getting this figure at the time. And to this day, it's still one of the better Alfreds out there. Stealth Jumper Batman, didn't really care that much for this figure. Articulation's weak, and you're only going to use this guy in very rare action figure scenarios. Stealth Jumper Batman, Series 3, Stealth Jumper. And of course we have Ra's al Ghul. It is a pretty good look for him. He's got the chest hair, shirt off. Looks kind of like something from Son of the Demon. Batman, Hush, Ra's al Ghul, Series 3. Here are all four of these figures, both open and unopen. And add Scarecrow to the mix. This is the entire Series 3. And they made a paint variation of Gordon, looking a little bit younger. I think that was from an exclusive two-pack. There was also a Toy Fair exclusive, Jason Todd as Hush figure. I don't have him on open, but I had to track one down open. This is the only Jason Todd figure they had for many years. I didn't want him in this look. I wanted him in his biker red hood look. But I had to settle for this for a long time. Many years later, DC Direct, or DC Collectibles, made some Hush multi-packs. It's essentially the exact same figure re-released. Paint job is slightly different. I only got these for my unopened collection at the time. I didn't think I needed them open, and I really don't. But if it was nowadays, I would have bought them open and unopened. We've got Poison Ivy, Nightwing, and Scarecrow. Batman Hush. Here are all three of the figures. Backside. You can see the other three pack as well. Paint job is just slightly different. They still look more or less regular, but I appreciate that if you get both of them, you'd get something at least a little bit different. Then we have this Joker, Stealth Jumper Batman, and Harley Quinn. Not sure why they didn't re-release the standard Batman, besides the fact that they did that a bunch of other times. Batman Hush, three pack. Here are all three of them. Like I said, didn't get these guys to open. Kind of wish I did. Now let's look at the DC Direct Batman The Dark Knight Returns action figures. It started off with a set of four singles many years ago. I have three of them. I don't have Batman unopened. Years later, they made a two-pack. Had Batman and the Joker and a comic. I don't have that two-pack unopened or open, and I'm really hoping to find that one day. Then they made a two-pack with Batman and Superman, slightly repainted. And then they made a four-pack with each of the figures. They're all slightly repainted as well. So let's start off by checking the singles. So here are the figures that I have individually unopened. I am missing Batman. This Kelly Kelly Robin, Superman, and the Joker. These figures look really good and accurate to the source material, but their articulation is just bad to today's standards, and some of them are pre-posed in really annoying positions. They still look really nice. Batman, The Dark Knight Returns, just like the comic. Robin, 
collector action figure by DC Direct. This one has a Noik sticker on it. They came with a light post and a bunch of sidewalk pieces so you can reenact a scene for the Dark Knight Returns. I love that. Carrie Kelly Robin. Dark Knight Returns. The entire wave. You can see what you can do with the sidewalk pieces and the light post. I've got, I think, four different light posts and a whole long sidewalk in my Gotham action figure world. Here's the rest of Series 1. Superman, that big, bulky Superman for the Dark Knight Returns. Kryptonite Arrow, Batman's helmet, smash it ripped off. Dark Knight Returns, Superman. Superman with that real unique look to him. Rest of the wave. Then Joker, that real unique look. Kind of feminine, that white suit, large upper torso. That horrible doll. Really wish I could have the female version as well, but they don't make one. Joker. He was really annoying. Had this pistol in his hand. It can come out, but he's just posed in this horrible fashion. Dark Knight Returns. Here are all three of these figures, both open and unopen. And add Batman. Here's the entire wave open. Years later, they made a four pack. Exact same figures, but they're all painted slightly different. Joker didn't come with that doll accessory, which really disappointed me. I would have loved to have had a second one. It came with some more sidewalk pieces and another street lamp. Joker, like I said, different paint job. Batman, just slightly as well. Superman, and then Carrie Kelly Robin. Batman. Dark Knight Returns action figure box set. Batman and Robin. Superman Joker. In the back, you can see an advertisement for some other figures. Batman and Superman. Here are the four figures on a street corner. Here are all four of the repainted figures, both open and unopen. Here are all four of the Batman releases that I have. And I don't have all of them. There is a fifth one that came out in a two-pack. It was a pack with Batman and the Joker in a comic book. It had the utility belt around his thigh. Really hoping to track one of those down one day. The other four figures here. The first one is from the single release. The second one is from the four-pack. The third one is from a 75th anniversary box set. And the fourth one is from the two-pack with Superman. Here's the two-pack with Superman. Batman The Dark Knight Returns. This is from the 30th anniversary of the novel. Superman and Batman, they're slightly repainted from the original releases. Superman is pretty much exactly the same as the four pack version of Superman. Batman The Dark Knight Returns. DC Collectibles. The Dark Knight Returns Bat logo. The infamous Dark Knight Returns image back advertising for a couple statues here's this Batman and Superman loose from this two-pack now let's look at the DC Direct Justice from Alex Ross there are a ton of other figures I'd like to have unopened I only collect the Batman related stuff I've got Toy Man and Poison Ivy Toy Man is not exactly a Batman related rogue but that's where he fits in my collection there are actually no figures that I felt like I needed to get an open from Series 1. Series 1 was Bizarro, Cheetah, Sinestro, Superman, and The Flash. None of them are really Batman related. I did get Cheetah open. I thought she'd be pretty cool to work with Catwoman on occasion. Series 2 consisted of Aquaman, Batman, Black Canary, Black Manta, and Parasite. I would like to have the Batman unopened from that wave. Kind of expensive nowadays. I do have this Batman loose, and I must admit, this is not the one from the Justice line. This is from a 75th anniversary multi-pack. He is slightly different. Poison Ivy is the only figure from Series 3 that I have unopened. Series 3 it consists of Green Lantern, the Joker, Plastic Man, Poison Ivy, and Wonder Woman. I would like to have the Joker open as well. He is very expensive to get nowadays, especially still sealed. 
So let's look at the packaging. Justice. You can see their iconic looks at the top. These figures look fantastic. Articulation is quite limited. Poison Ivy, collector action figure by DC Direct. She is almost naked here. Just leaves covering up some significant areas. Makes her kind of sought after. Here's the entire wave. Poison Ivy. Justice. Here's this Poison Ivy, both open and unopen. And even though I don't have the Joker unopen, I managed to get one loose over the years. And I don't have any figures from Series 4 unopen. I do have Solomon Grundy open. He's the only one that I would like to have unopened from that wave. That wave consists of Black Adam, Hawkman, Shazam, Solomon Grundy, and Zatanna. And I don't have anything from Series 5, and I didn't need anything unopened. That wave was Brainiac, Green Arrow, Lex Luthor, Martian Manhunter, and Red Tornado. And I don't have any figures unopened from Series 6. Series 6 was Armored Batman, Armored Green Lantern, Hot Girl, and Scarecrow. I would have liked to have had Armored Batman and Scarecrow unopened. I don't have the Armored Batman loose, and I would actually like to have him loose as well. But here's Scarecrow loose. Pretty nice Scarecrow figure. And I don't have anything open or unopened from Series 7. And I didn't really need anything. Series 7 was Armored Aquaman, Gorilla Grodd, Green Lantern and Armored Superman. Wouldn't mind that garage open. And Series 8 consisted of Batgirl, Captain Cold, Toy Man, and Supergirl. I've got Toy Man unopened, and I would like to have Batgirl unopened. Justice League, Toy Man, collector action figure. The rest of this series. Toy Man, Justice, I've got Toy Man both open and unopen. He's pretty cool. I thought he'd be cool to supply the Joker with some weapons. He's sort of a puppet and a marionette should control with those strings. I've also got two Captain Cold figures open from this wave. I bought these a long time ago to use for Mr. Freeze henchmen. Here's a Silver Age Batman and Robin box set. Very impressive looking set. It's huge. You have a classic Silver Age Batman and Robin. Don't have this open. Wish I did. There's some pretty nice looking figures, although pretty poorly articulated. At the top, Silver Age, Batman and Robin, the Boy Wonder. DC Direct, the classic Silver Age, Batman with Robin, the Boy Wonder. For the first time ever in a deluxe action figure set, Batman has a climbing rope. Batman and Robin includes Gotham City rooftop display base and two Batarangs. Backside, I would love to see what this rooftop base looks like. Batman and Robin up there, an advertisement for Batgirl and Joker pack. Pretty cool stuff. Here's this classic Silver Age Batgirl and Batwoman box set. It also includes Batmite and Ace the Bathound. I thought this thing was absolutely fantastic, magnificent. A standard Batwoman, Batgirl, Batman, and Bathound, all four in one box set. Absolutely love this thing. Mine's a little bit ripped here, which is annoying. I actually still have the pieces, just can't for the life of me throw them away. My son, when he was really young, tried to get into this thing. And for no reason, because we had all these guys open. DC Direct, the classic Silver Age, Batgirl and Batwoman, includes Batmite and Ace the Bathound. They look fantastic. They're standard, old school looks. Deluxe action figure set. Batgirl and Batwoman. The bottom, DC Direct. The back, this set here. Batman and Robin set, Batgirl and Joker set, Catwoman and Penguin set. Unfortunately, I don't have the Joker and Batgirl or the Catwoman and Penguin set. And of course, I had to track these figures down loose. I absolutely love this set. Brand new supporting Batman characters. Batgirl, Batwoman, Ace the Bat Hound, Batmite. I can found a ton of uses for these guys. 
Now let's look at some DC Direct Elseworlds figures. We have Batman and Batgirl from Thrill Killer, Vampire Batman from Crimson Mist, and Gotham by Gaslight Batman. I don't have any of these figures open, although they're all very nice. I would really like to have the Vampire Batman and Gotham by Gaslight Batman. There were four waves of DC Direct Elseworlds figures. Wave 1 was Crimson Mist Batman, Red Sun Superman, Red Sun Wonder Woman, Throw Killer Batgirl, and Throw Killer Batman. I have all the Batman related stuff from Wave 1 on open. Check out the packaging Elseworlds Series 1 action figure. Batman, very unique looking suit, French all black, orange logo, red belt. Throw Killer Batman by DC Direct. Back, you can see the entire wave. Red Sun Superman and Wonder Woman are cool but I didn't need them either open or unopened for my Batman collection. The real killer Batgirl, once again a very unique suit. Stomach's exposed, comes with a gold Batarang. Cool figure, didn't really feel like I needed her open, although nowadays I sure would have bought her open. Backside, the rest of the wave. Then we have Crimson Miss Batman, Vampire Batman. He's got those wings. The sculpt looks fantastic, although I'm sure his articulation leaves a lot to be desired. He's got that Batman stake. Backside, bunch of figures. I've been torn whether I should open this guy or not. I'm probably going to leave him as is. Love to track one down loose, but this guy is very expensive nowadays. I do have the Mattel version. Series 2 consisted of Gotham by Gaslight Batman, Kingdom Come Jade, Kingdom Come Spectre, Red Sun Batman, and Red Sun President Superman. I've got the Gotham by Gaslight Batman unopened. I would also like to have the Red Sun Batman. I don't have either of the figures loose. Elseworlds Series 2. See a bunch of figures from the wave up there. Batman, Gotham by Gaslight. Looks very good. Elseworlds. Gotham I guess like Batman. I have the Mattel version open and I'm gonna be getting the Mezco version. I would love to have this guy to compare with them. DC Direct. Backside. This is the rest of Series 2. That Russian Batman's pretty cool looking. And I don't have anything from DC Direct Elseworlds Series 3. That consisted of Elseworlds Finest Batgirl, Elseworlds Finest Supergirl, Kingdom Come Aquaman, Kingdom Come Nightstar, Red Sun Green Lantern. I would definitely have liked to have had Elseworlds Finest Batgirl unopened. And the same goes for Series 4. I don't have anything open or unopened. That wave was Amazonian Wonder Woman, JSA Liberty Files Batman, JSA Liberty Files Flash, Kingdom Come Blue Beetle, the Dark Side Evil Superman, and the Dark Side Good Superman. I would love to have had the JSA Batman unopened. Now let's look at the DC Direct Secret Files Unmasked figures. I have both Joker Red Hood and Barbara Gordon Batgirl unopened. I don't have the Bruce Wayne Batman unopened. Really nice figures. I bought these guys with the intention to make a custom Barbara Gordon civilian attire. And I got the Batman loose to do the same thing. Bruce Wayne out of costume. And then a representation of Red Hood in action figure format. First time they've ever done that. Thought that was really cool. And the fact that you can take the hood off is fantastic. Unmasked. Secret Files Series 2. The Red Hood. The Joker. Alternate heads. Classic body from Joker's origin story. Backside. You can see all the different figures. Actually, I've got Batgirl and Joker. I would love to have Batman unopened. I do have him open. And then Clark Kent would have been nice to have as well. Here's this Barbara Gordon. Unfortunately, it didn't work out to make the civilian Barbara Gordon. She had part of the cow permanently attached to her head. It kind of ruined that. Just Batarang, two different heads. Barbara Gordon, Batgirl, unmasked. Backside, the rest of the unmasked figures. Here are both these figures, both unopened and open. 
And I took the unmasked Bruce Wayne head, put it onto this Clark Kent body, and this is one of my favorite Bruce Wayne and civilian attire figures. Here's a Crime Syndicate figure, DC Direct, Crime Syndicate, this is Owlman. Owlman is more or less the opposite of Batman from a different multiverse. I didn't want to get the entire Crime Syndicate, but I consider this guy to be Batman related. I look at this guy as a Batman villain. Unique packaging, clamshell, you can see the back Crime Syndicate, Owlman, old school version, DC Direct, classic Crime Syndicate Owlman, new resealable packaging. Back, got Owlman, see a bunch of other DC Direct figures. And yes, I had to get a loose Owlman to add to my Batman rogues. Now let's look at the DC Direct first appearance line. The only figure I've unopened is from Series 3, and this is the Riddler. Other figures from this line that I would love to have unopened would be Batman, Robin, Batgirl, and Nightwing. I don't even have this Riddler open. First appearance, the Riddler, Series 3. He's in his old school look, his jumpsuit. First appearance, the Riddler, collector action figure. DC Direct. Back, you can see the rest of Series 3. I would love to have Nightwing, Disco Nightwing, and Cassandra Kane Batgirl unopened. And although I don't have her unopened, here's the Cassandra Kane Batgirl loose. Now it's like a DC Direct's JLA classified line. The only figure I've unopened here is Batman. JLA classified Batman blue and gray outfit. Backside. You can see the rest of the figures from Series 1. Batman, Flash, Wonder Woman, and Superman. And they sure got some future use from this mold. There's a black and gray variation from the Superman Batman comics. And although I don't have her unopened, here's the Cassandra Kane Batgirl loose from Series 2. This is DC Direct's Crisis on Infinite Earths action figure line. The only one I have unopened is Batman. He's from Series 3. Other figures I'd like to have unopened from this line. Series 1 had Earth 2 Robin. Series 3 also had a Huntress. Batman, standard outfit, blue and gray. I like that. His wrist looks really badly posed, though. Crisis on Infinite Earths, Series 3. Batman, the back. You can see the rest of the figures from this wave. I would definitely like to have that Huntress. Here's DC Direct's Identity Crisis line. The only one I have from this is Deadshot Unopened. He's from Series 1. Other figures I would like to have would be Batman Unopened. He's from Series 2. It's a nice, standard looking Deadshot from the comics. Identity Crisis Series 1 Collector Action Figure. Deadshot. Deadshot looking pretty good. Doesn't have any accessories. Has the nice guns on his wrists. I see a stand back there. DC Direct. Backside. Here's the rest of this wave. Nothing else bat related. And of course, I had to get this Deadshot loose. This is one of the best Deadshot figures at the time. So that was the first part of my unopened DC Direct Batman related action figure collection. I have a lot of gaps in that collection. When I started collecting, DC Direct had already been around for a while, and I tried to go back and get some of the figures. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm looking very much forward to doing the DC Direct animated stuff and the DC Direct Arkham stuff. So this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked the video, press like below. If you have anything you want to say about the video, Add to the comment section. If you want to see additional action figure collection and action figure reviews from me, press subscribe. I do appreciate when you do that. Once again, this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I will talk to you guys real soon.